An accused killer in a 30-year-old cold case will also stay locked up. We're talking about a murder in Lamoille County where a 70-year-old man is the suspect who police say killed his estranged wife in 1993. Channel 3's Ike Ben David has the update from court in Hyde Park. Ike, today's hearing wrapped up just a little over an hour ago. What'd you find out? Hey, Darren and Kiana, good evening. Today's hearing was to determine if Carol Peters will be released while he awaits trial, but it was an opportunity to learn how and why prosecutors pinned Peters as the suspect. Peters entered the court in handcuffs and had his lawyer speak on his behalf. The murder case sat cold for years after Carol's estranged wife, Cheryl, was found dead, shot execution style in September of 1993. Prosecutors say police took a fresh look at the case and brought it to them, brought them information to bring it to court. Cheryl's daughter spoke in the courtroom today, revealing Carol sent letters to Cheryl leading up to her death. She also spoke about how he showed off his guns and showed up to their house unannounced. The state painting a picture of a controlling, stalking man while the defense says there's no evidence connecting Carol to the crime. There is no one else other than Carol Peters that wanted this woman dead. Two days before she was going to move to Montpelier, she wouldn't give him her address. She wouldn't let him know where he was, where he was, where she was staying. He needed that control. He has, he is obsessed with it, and so he killed her. We don't believe that there's enough evidence to show that Mr. Peters committed this homicide, and certainly not any evidence to commit it as it's charged as the first degree. The court ran out of time to finish the hearing due to the amount of evidence presented. So for now, Peters, he will remain in jail. A judge has yet to rule if he will stay there while the case plays out in court. We'll keep you updated when he goes in front of a judge again in the future. For now, reporting live in Hyde Park, Ike Ben David, Channel 3 News.